Hey everyone, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for visiting. I thought I would share uh, three cards that I made using this cover a card stamp from Impression Obsession. It's a five and three quarters inch square stamp and it's uh, really easy to use on backgrounds but also really easy to use to make focal art as well, which I'll share with you in this video. Uh, the cards that I'm going to share with you uh, feature three of the sentiments from the limited edition September set from Impression Obsession. This one reads, you're not alone and we'll get through this thing together. I like the combination of typewriter and script. And uh, the second sentiment that I'm going to use on my cards uh, is this one. It reads, a friend is what the heart needs all the time. And it's a vertical sentiment there, three inches tall. And then the last sentiment that I'm going to use on the cards I'm going to share with you tonight uh, is this one here. And it reads, the best thing to hold on to in life is each other. And it reads, uh, Audrey Hepburn there at the bottom. I think that might be my, sen my favorite sentiment from this set. So let me go ahead and move these off to the side and share the cards that I made using the um, sketchy leaves and uh, three of those sentiments there. So for all of my card bases, I chose like a mustard yellow or a kind of like a fall pumpkin color. Uh, so this is the first card. You can see that I uh, stamped the leaves there on watercolor paper and uh, painted them very loosely with various different colors of paint, um, blues and yellows and greens. And then I also added some uh, sparkly, uh, shimmery watercolor paint as well. Um, the sparkles really show up on this darker colored card base really nicely. So you can see the uh, layout is a little bit different, but the um, stamping and painting is all the same. I just used uh, lots of different colors of watercolors to create um, various different colored leaves. And I really like how the colors mixed and mingled and created lots of variety in the color. I think that um, second card turned out so pretty. And then I love this one too, that extra pop of turquoise in these um, leaves I thought was a really fun visual surprise. Something a little different than just a standard um, array of fall colors. So a couple different colors of blue in there as well, some indigo as well as that turquoise. I think it looks really pretty. And uh, some of the watercolor paints weren't quite dry when I added the um, shimmer watercolors and so they mixed and mingled with those watercolor paints and I think it looks really great. So these were really fun and easy to make. Um, I will leave links down below to the Impression Obsession website where you can find the sketchy leaves cover a card stamp as well as the limited edition September set which has the three sentiments that I've used on these cards. That set's only available for a limited time so if these sentiments are of interest to you you might want to snag that set up. It also comes with some really cute classic Winnie the Pooh art in it as well. So let me go ahead and show you the process of making one of these cards so you can see the loosey-goosey watercolor style that I used. Here I've mounted the cover a card stamp to the lid of my standard size Misty and I have a piece of double-sided tape uh, there on that uh, typewriter font or cop excuse me a copy paper and I'm just pressing my watercolor paper down um, on that double-sided tape so it holds it in place and I'm going to be using VersaFine ink um, in the color sepia to stamp these uh, sketchy leaves on my watercolor panel. I love using the misties because I can get a really great impression by stamping the image multiple times especially on textured cardstock it's really handy to use a stamp positioner like this. So once I have a really great impression, I uh, go ahead and remove my watercolor panel from the Misty, and I'm going to be using my Paul Rubens watercolor paints. Uh, these were sent to me by Paul Rubens, um, and I'm so glad that they sent them to me because I absolutely love this set. You can see that uh, it's starting to get a little messy because um, since they sent it, sent it to me, it has yet to leave my desk. I use it a lot um, on my uh, card projects. So the first row of paints there are just standard watercolor colors, um, but that fourth row there is different colored shimmer paints. And um, it's just so handy to have the combination of the regular paints as well as the shimmer paints all in one palette. Um, and these are just a actual real joy to use. I have really enjoyed this paint set. So to color my leaves here, I'm just uh, choosing various different colors from the set, not even being careful um, painting in the lines. Um, but the only thing that I did do is the um, leaves of similar shape, I colored the same color. So you can see all the maple leaves are yellow, all the oak leaves are red, all the little branches with the multiple leaves on it, I colored those all blue, for example. 
So that's pretty much the only consistency that I that I uh, followed on this painting. Um, I was not careful to stay on the lines, um, not at all. I also chose this bright blue, kind of a turquoise blue. I thought that was a nice visual pop of color to add, and I'm really glad that I did. I think it looks really great on the finished project. So I just continue painting the leaves, adding some oranges and reds here um, to these ones on the outside edges. And uh, once I get it all painted, uh, all the leaves painted, I decide to add lots of sparkle splatters. So I'm going to be using uh, the gold there in the bottom right hand corner. And then I also think that I use uh, the clear, which is the second one from the right there. And this one is probably my favorite. Um, it just adds a clear sparkle without any pigment. And then I even go in and add some of this um, copper or bronze colored sparkle as well. So we're getting really crazy with the sparkles here. <laughs> so, and uh, since my watercolors aren't dry on those leaves, those uh, sparkles can mix and mingle with the watercolors as well and uh, adds just a little bit more fun. And here I am adding some of that sepia brown into my uh, maple leaves just for a little bit more of, of visual interest. So once I have that painted just the way that I like it, I decide, well, we probably need some more sparkle. <laughs> so I did add a little bit more of the uh, gold there for sparkle. <laughs> We're getting real crazy here. Lots and lots of sparkle. <laughs> now that I'm happy with that, uh, I decided to let this panel dry and to speed up that process a little bit, I used my heat gun and uh, just gave it a quick zap and made sure all that watercolor pigment was dry. Also, if you um, heat, if you use your heat gun on both sides of your watercolor paper, it won't curl as much. You'll be heating it uh, from both sides and keeping those paper fibers somewhat straight. So I'm, I've chosen a pumpkin um, orange colored card base and uh, I'm pulling out one of the sentiments from that limited edition September kit uh, for my card. To make sure that I get my sentiment stamped really nicely on the front of my card, I'm going to be using the mini Misty and placing my card base um, into the Misty. And uh, this will allow me to stamp um, my sentiment on the front of my card um, in the same spot uh, multiple times so that I get a really great impression. The Misty has um, really saved a lot of cardstock for me because I used to kind of foobar some sentiments. I'd get them crooked or I wouldn't get them stamped very cleanly and uh, then I, you know, either have to change my layout to cover up the mistake or start over with a fresh piece of cardstock. So this has actually saved me um, a lot of heartache <laughs> uh, wasting cardstock. So after three stamp impressions, I think that looks really great. So now I'm going to actually pull my card base out of the Misty and uh, move on with the assembly process of the card. So you can see I'm going to do a vertical layout there, um, but first I'm going to add some um, splatters to my card base so that it's kind of cohesive uh, visually with my splattered card panel. I'm using that sepia brown, a little bit of um, gold, or excuse me, yellow ochre. And then I also decide, um, after looking at this a bit and realizing there wasn't any sparkle in it, that I needed to add some of that gold um, sparkle as well. <laughs> more sparkle, more better. <laughs> so then I need to let this dry. And then once that's dry, I just uh, make sure my card base is um, nice and flat again by giving it a little bit bend here and there. And then I'm going to be adding some faux stitching up the uh, sides of my leaf panel. I think it dried out, uh, dried really pretty. And then I've put some double-sided tape on the back side of that watercolor panel. I'm going to be adhering it to the front of my card. I think these cards are so easy to make and yet they're so beautiful. So I hope you try this technique. I think it's really fun. Once I have that pressed in place, I'm just going to use my little paper snips to cut off the excess so that my card panel um, is nice and flush with my watercolor paper. 
and I think it turned out really cute. So I used the same process to make all three cards. I just changed the layout slightly. Um, two of them go vertical like this, and then one of them went horizontal. It was a smaller piece of watercolor paper. But I hope you enjoy this technique and try it yourself. Thanks so much for watching, and check out the links below uh, for uh, the stamp sets that I've used. Thanks for watching. Bye!